Hello, KMI students. On behalf of everyone at the Knowledge Management Institute, we'd like to create a short video that describes one of the tools we'll be using during class called Miro. So if I start sharing my screen, we should be able to see what Miro looks like. So you will be receiving a, a URL to go to this browser version, or there's also an application you can download for a smartphone or most machines. So Miro is basically a, uh, an infinite canvas, or you could think of it like a big whiteboard. And what we've learned in our first uh, several five or 10 classes running with Miro, there's two key mindsets to have as you're using this tool. First, we'll be using Zoom uh, to have audio and video and text-based chat. All of that happens in the Zoom application. We'll also be using Miro for all of the interactive exercises. So you'll technically have two applications open on whichever machine or phone you're using. You'll have Zoom open for audio and video, and then you can minimize it. The video will still be in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, and then you'll have your browser or however you wanna open the Miro application on your device. So you might be using two things. So on the Miro site, once you've logged in and you, you start to, to use the site a little bit, what you might wanna look at first is the bottom right-hand corner, which is called the map. Um, on the map here, you can see these little blue-ish boxes and then you can also see a few buttons and a percentage sign in the bottom right hand corner. Probably the percentage sign is the first place to start. I'm zoomed out to 1%. So that small percentage means everything on screen is far away and very small. If I wanna zoom in, the plus and minus signs are right here next to the percentage to zoom in so that I can actually start to see things and read them or the minus sign to zoom back out. You might also want to notice that when I zoom in, it puts a box here on the map. I can click and drag that box to move around the map. So that's the first thing to play with is just getting comfortable with looking at a big, huge screen and you know, moving around that screen to look at whatever you'd like to focus on. So maybe the one area that I'll focus you on, most of our classes at KMI will have this area in the upper left called Practice Makes Progress. If I zoom in so I can actually read and see that area, here's what the practice area has. Five different techniques that we'll be using during class. So I'm gonna zoom in all the way to the first one, just get comfortable getting close to this area. So one tool within Miro is sticky notes. The sticky notes and most other, once you've got comfortable with the map, most other areas of, of Miro are in the left-hand navigation. So notice how you've got five or 10 different options over here. The very first option is one of the most important ones and slightly confusing. Um, it looks like an arrow. So if you choose the arrow, um, you'll be able to highlight items and move them around. So that's the, the arrow version. Now what's slightly confusing, if you click the arrow again, it stays arrow on the left, but now your icon is a hand. And now if I click and drag, I'm moving the board around. Hopefully that makes sense. So you're kind of, even though it doesn't change over here, just pay attention on screen. Do you have a hand which moves the whole board or do you have the arrow which moves a single object? Now to add a post-it note, I choose this option here on the left. So it looks like a square with a dark triangle on the bottom right. If I click that, I can then choose any color post-it note. I can then click where I want it to be and type a hello message on screen. And I can even resize using grabbing one of the corners of the, the post-it note. And for now, let's keep it that simple. Uh, play with sticky notes, play with the map, play with um, you know minimizing and maximizing zoom in your browser. And then you can start to get uh, courageous and, and play with all the other options in the left navigation. There is some area here in the practice session spot <laughs> um, that has other things you can practice. So I hope that's helpful and enjoy class. Thank you.